Hi, this is Anil from Learning Light Education and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming language. So in the previous tutorials, I have uh, taught you guys about the methods in uh, Java programming language. How exactly you can define the methods, what are methods, what is the use of methods, all these things. Here in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the variable scope, which means where a variable is referenceable or available. So whenever we declare variables inside a method, that variables are said to be local variables. These local variables are available only inside that methods. For example, here in my main method, if I declare a variable, for example, let's say int age, and if I store some value, for example, 25, in in this variable age then this variable age is said to be a local variable which is defined inside this main meta so i can access this age variable inside this main meta but outside this main meta this age variable will not be available i'm going to define another meta here for example let's say public static void display and here inside this display meta, we can't access this age variable because this age is a variable defined inside this main meta and it is available only inside this main meta. So just to demonstrate that, I just gonna use a system.out.println meta and we try to print out the value of this variable age inside this main meta. And also we try to do that from this display meta. And I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run this. And you guys can see we have the error here. And if I go here, age cannot be resolved to a variable because age is not declared inside this display meta. So I'm just gonna comment this um, sprint line statement from the display meta and I'm gonna run this program and you guys can see uh, 25 is printed out. And another thing is there is something called a block scope. A block scope is nothing but when you declare a variable inside a block, that variable is available only inside that block. So in your program, if you want to create a block, then you just need to use a pair of curly braces. So by using this pair of curly braces, we are declaring a block. You guys can see here for this main meta, we are using a pair of curly braces. So this pair of curly braces form a block. So whenever we declare a variable inside a block, that variable will be available only inside that block. Here we are declaring this age variable inside this block. And that's why this age variable is available inside this block and this block forms the body of this main meta and that's why this age variable can be accessed inside this main meta. So if I create a block here and if I uh, declare a variable, for example, let's say int mark and if I initialize that one to 20 and now this mark will only available inside this block. And here I'm now access mark and uh, if I try to access this mark outside this block, you know, outside this block, then we'll get the error. You guys can see here, mark cannot be resolved to a variable. That's because this mark is defined inside this block and it is available only inside this block. And another thing that I want you guys to teach you is when you have a nested block. For example, you guys can see here, here the age is declared in this outer block and this age is available throughout this block, which means you can access this age inside this inner block also. So here inside this uh, code block, I can access the age. So if I run this program, there will not be any error. So just to demonstrate that, I just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it and here we're gonna refer the age. And if I run this, you guys can see we have uh, 25, 20 and 25. That's because 25 from this uh, this print line statement, 20 from this, this print line statement and because of this mark variable and again 25 from this age variable. 
So here make a note that when we have nested blocks, the variables declared in the outer block are available in the inner block, but the variables declared in the inner block are not available in the outer block. Then that's why if we try to access this mark outside this block, we get error. And another thing that I want you guys to teach you is whenever we use a for loop and if we declare the variable, for example, the loop counter variable inside this for loop, then that uh, variable will be available only inside that block. What I mean by that is, for example, here, consider this counter variable. This counter variable is only available inside this for loop because it is defined inside this for loop block. So I can't access the counter variable outside this for loop. And just to demonstrate that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a print line statement. I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it here inside this for loop. And also I'm going to paste it outside the for loop. And we try to access the counter variable. And it's going to be counter again. And now you guys can see here, you know, the Eclipse ID is giving me the error. And if I hover on this uh, error icon, you guys can see counter cannot be resolved to a variable. That's because this counter variable is only declared inside this for loop block. And that's why it is available only inside this for loop. And since a variable is available only inside the declared block, we can have the variables with the same name in different different blocks. What I mean by that is here inside this main method, we have the variable age and inside this display method also, we can have the same variable with the name age. And since they are defined in different variable scopes, there will not be any naming collisions. And also the parameters that we use in a method are going to be the local variables for that method. Here in this main method, you guys can see this arg is a string array and it's going to act as the local variable for this main method. So this arg can only accessible inside this main method. So this is it guys. This is about the variable scope in Java programming language. Whenever we declare a variable inside a code block, that variable is only available inside that code block. We can't access that variable outside that code block. And also whenever we're going to have the nested code block at that time, the variable which is declared in the outer code block is available in the inner code block and the variable which are declared in the inner code block are not available in the outer code block. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also you guys can like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad. And you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and I'll see you in the next tutorial.